to my lovely, lovely YouTubers. I hope you are having a good holiday season. It's obviously almost Christmas time, so it's still really festive here. But I want to make this video specifically for my ladies today because, hey, you know I love y'all. You know I want to uplift y'all. And I just want to give you that boost of confidence, that boost of everything to get out there and do the things you love to do. So today's topic is being your number one cheerleader. Now, when I say being your number one cheerleader, no, I really mean it. I mean you need to be your number one cheerleader. You need to get your pom-poms and you need to root for yourself, like literally. Get out there and be your number one cheerleader because if you are not your number one cheerleader, then who else will be? If you do not pat yourself on the back on some days and say, you did very well today. Oh, I'm so glad you accomplished what this, this task at hand that you accomplished. You know, you can be your number one cheerleader. And so what I'm telling you is go out there and be it. And sometimes we get so complacent and we get fearful and we get timid and we don't actually move, you know? Like I will catch myself being so fearful and timid, like should I move, should I not? Like I'm, I get fearful, like putting myself out there in different areas in my life. And so what I have to tell you guys is sometimes you just gotta go. Sometimes you just gotta do it. Sometimes you just gotta jump. Sometimes you just gotta put yourself out there regardless of what people are gonna say, regardless of the judgment you may get, regardless of their views. Sometimes you just have to do you. You have to get out there and do the things you love to do. You have to get out there and fearlessly promote yourself. You have to get out there and fearlessly pub yourself. You have to get out there and fearlessly go towards the visions that you desire. You have to fearlessly get out there and serve God, okay? There's a lot of areas in our life where we really sit and we act timid and we act scared and nervous, but what I'm saying is to be your number one cheerleader, is you put fear in its place. You don't let it maneuver through your life. You don't let it handicap you or keep you stagnant. But what you do is you face it and you say, guess what? I can overcome this because I'm my number one cheerleader. I am my number one cheerleader. I serve a God that is all powerful, almighty, and greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. And so with that being said, I can overcome this and I can bring that vision to life. I can get to moving on the things that are gonna make me proud and bring fulfillment in my life. I can get to moving and I can not only impact my life, but impact the lives of others, right? When we believe that and we operate in that, guess who becomes our number one cheerleader? We do. We don't sit in fear. We don't sit in procrastination. But what we do is we get to work. We get to work on the things that we love the most. And guess what? Our hearts become God's desires. Our heart's desires becomes God's. And you'll start to see, you start to maneuver in things of God and you'll actually love it. You'll actually enjoy it. And so what I have to say is, be your number one cheerleader today, tomorrow, the remainder of the week, the remainder of this year, into the new year. Be your number one cheerleader and fearlessly go out there and do the things that you have been called to do. So thank you for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Also, if you can, go follow me on Instagram at MorganTracyJ and Snapchat at MorganTracyJ. And lastly, y'all have a happy holidays. Bye.